It's no secret that starting a family has been a very relevant topic in our minds and in our household, but I think it's safe to say that it's about to become a little bit more of a relevant topic. <laughs> It's almost surrealistic to listen to the birds right now. I mean, we're in December, it's not supposed to be here, are they? Regardless, it makes me feel a little bit better. I actually have a really bad morning so far. I got my period yesterday and I really thought I was pregnant. So I got really sad and disappointed when my period arrived because I was five days late. I really convinced myself that I was pregnant, even though I didn't get a positive test. I was not sure if I were going to loop you guys in with this, but I realized that I feel like I'm almost lying to you and it doesn't feel natural to me to not loop you in on it. And now that I've decided to do so with Jake, I feel much more happy and content with that. And so, I'm here to let you know. <laughs> Jake and I have been trying to get pregnant for four months now. It's gotten easier with obviously not being successful with it. It's gotten a lot easier. I was really sad and stressed in the beginning, but we're gonna talk more about that later. For now, I am heading to a cafe here in Yeondamdong to see Sunny. I, Sunny is in the same stage as we are. We started trying at the same point and we are experiencing many of the same things these days. So I really need like a recharge from her. She's always just such a ball of light and love. So yeah. Let's go and see Sunny, and I'll loop you in more later on. No, no, you should, you should say hi. Oh. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while! It's Sunny, a wild Sunny. Oh, I appear! I got a flat white. And I got a very Korean drink, ice americano. And ah uh, ah. Uh, yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers for our pregnancy. Oh. <laughs> I already feel better seeing you. Me too. Me too. Almost we were talking about our journey. Mm. I don't know if you're gonna elaborate, but anyways, our journey. Yes. Our ups and downs and the struggle. Yes. Which is mostly downs by now, but hopefully the ups will come soon. The only moment there is ups is when I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of good moments, so, you know, I felt really thankful because uh, I was posting a story about how I was really sad about oh, yes. the whole journey, right? And then you texted me and you really, really comforted me. And I was like, I was really, really like so touched. And I just wanted to express, and my love language is giving it. So I was just, I wanted to let you know as to why. Well. When Sunny posted a story of a negative pregnancy test with the caption every single month, all I could think about was telling her the same words that my mom tells me every single month as well. I told her, I truly believe that the universe already knows what's going to happen. It's waiting for the perfect moment. We're only ever being given challenges that we can overcome, that's for sure. 
a baby as well is a challenge and the universe is going to make sure that it's the perfect baby that will complement the growth that you two are going through. A baby that challenges you in the right areas and that will show you the kind of love you never knew existed. It's a work in progress, but I know that it is in progress. That it's coming, just waiting for the perfect moment. We need to trust the process, even as it's hard sometimes. <laughs> We're in this journey together, yeah. planning a family, and there's so many things that we have in common. And also, we we're talking about how like our progress on our family planning, and mm. it has its ups and downs, it right? Yeah. And we're just sharing a lot about that. And I'm so happy that you are here, because if not, I don't know, I don't have anybody to talk to, like actually at this time, right? Exactly. Yeah. exactly what I needed. I love Sunny. <laughs> that when you get pregnant you're supposed to stay with the current activity level that you were at before you got pregnant obviously if it's possible for you so one of the goals that I had in mind since summer was that I wanted to build a proper like gym routine a routine that I felt really comfortable with that was realistic to me as well so right now I've landed on somewhere between two to three times a week of working out and I do upper and lower body split basically don't really go into more than that I just do a lot what my body is craving at that moment but I feel like I was definitely stretching it this morning a little bit because I've been sick for the past two days I've just been laying literally right where I'm sitting right now for 48 hours this morning was a little bit tough but it's okay I kind of wanted to energize myself a little bit more and it worked until 10 minutes before I was scheduled to be on a call with my coaching client. I was just quickly grating, like slicing some cheese onto a bagel that I could quickly munch in before I was gonna jump on the call. And I hold the cheese like this and then it slips and it like cuts through my thumbnail, like in the middle through down to the corner in the bottom and takes like pretty much 40% of my nail off together with a slice of my skin. Uh, oh. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me very nauseous right now. My first day of feeling somewhat on top again after being sick started terribly. So Jake says I have to go to the hospital, but that makes me cry the thought of that because I'm scared of the hospital, so I'm not going to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna go to a cafe. Yay! That's how we solve our problems, guys. <laughs> process of like finding out that we were ready to actively try to have kids was actually kind of like smooth and slow and steady. Like a little over a year ago we decided that we weren't gonna be like super super careful, like we were gonna quit the protection if you know what I mean. I mean I haven't been on like birth control for years, I did not want to do that to myself again. That was hell. Thankfully like my body didn't have to like get back into a rhythm because I've been like keeping track of my cycle and my rhythm and such for years now and that has helped me a lot I would say in this process there's not a lot of things I need to learn about myself I I know very clearly when I'm ovulating this is an awkward conversation to have with people around not awkward at all I mean what I'm trying to say is I know when I'm ovulating so yeah a year ago we decided that we were like just gonna quit protection and then take it as it comes from there if it happens it happens but if not like that's good, we're not trying. Then six months ago, like in the summertime when we were in the Jeju trip um, that you saw on my channel as well, it was just, we on accident tried for the first time and like we were so shocked and we looked at each other and we're like, wait, hold on, 
what did we just do? I really hope you like understand what I'm saying because I cannot for the life of me get myself to say the exact words. <laughs> After that little slip up, at that point it was a slip up, we were kind of forced to like think about like, okay, if I were to have been pregnant then like, but how would we feel about it? Would we be happy? Would we not? Like, would we feel like it was too early? And after lots of thinking and talking, we just looked at each other and we were like, actually, that would honestly just make us very happy. And we felt very content with that. And so since we came home from Denmark two months after that, we like decided to go on for real and start trying, which was like a huge decision to do. Like there's a lot of difference between like being like, okay, if it happens, it happens without being careful. And then going into being like, we're like tracking my cycle and we're like finding out what days to do the boom shagalaga and everything. That's the story. <laughs> whining for the past like hour actually kind of hysterically and embarrassingly <laughs> and like I'm so scared of putting this on honestly like I'm, I'm just really bad with pain in this kind of way like this kind of caliber oh like oh, I had to lay on the floor and scream and cry a little bit before I could put on a new bandage <laughs> it's really pathetic and I'm embarrassed that my husband had to see that anyways <laughs> like honestly I know that there's a lot of like a uh, supplements and such that you can take um, before you get pregnant and in order to like also help your body get pregnant. The only thing I've been doing is like taking the folic acid. I'm taking 800 mcg. Is that milligrams? I don't know. I just looked it up and it was what it was recommended. So I've been taking this for three months now I think and then I'm also taking magnesium for women. This is not necessarily for when you want to get pregnant. This is just something I've done for a while. I, after I changed to this brand, I've started getting really vivid dreams like every single night. I dream like crazily and I'm already like someone who can lucid dream and such, but after taking this, like the dreams have just been on another level. I feel like I live two different lives. Well, I mean a million different lives because it's a different dream every night. But what I found is really interesting is because I've, you know, I'm reading a lot these days, I'm like, lucid dreaming in like stories that are like similar to the ones that I read in the books which is like I feel like that's the dream of every book nerd and I love it. I am looking forward to going to bed every single night because of this. Everyone should take magnesium not for the fact of that. I know that most people who take magnesium and start dreaming a lot starts getting nightmares and mine are like exciting nightmares they aren't like scream and cry kind of nightmares anyways so the folic acid, that's the whole point of the conversation. The folic acid is the only one that I've been taking that's related to pregnancy. And if you like have been through this as well, or if you've just heard about something, please give me some recommendations for like stuff to take um, vitamins or supplements, something like that. Cause I really want to learn more and study more, but there's so many different information online. So I would appreciate any advice you have. I'm going to go to bed and dream about Sexy bad guys, hopefully. <laughs> Good night. The air quality has been so bad these past couple of days that I've like resolved to wearing a mask again. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it. There's a part of me that's like really worried there are so many like doctors that are equating all of these new like diseases and rise of illnesses here in Korea to bad air quality and I'm wondering like what it does to fertility. I mean it can't do anything good right so actually that's a huge worry I have in general of living in Korea and having getting kids here. It looks like it's clearing a little bit but it's just it's really scary honestly it feels like the air is toxic and you can feel it in your throat. It doesn't make me feel good to bring up kids you know. Anyways, Wonyeonidong, Yonidong, and I wanted to go to this cafe that seems really Christmassy. It's 17 degrees today, so it's not very Christmassy vibes, but <sighs> let's go. It's 
honestly the best surprises when the cafes that I want to go to are full or closed because I always end up finding the cutest places. Maybe it was just ignorance, but something in me actually expected to get pregnant relatively fast. That's also why I haven't really changed much about my lifestyle, but I think it's definitely time to do that now, little by little. I'm so honored and excited to have you here with us on this journey now, and it definitely feels less lonely now that you're here. Thank you for always supporting me, and I'm so excited to expand our big family with another edition, hopefully soon. <laughs> Lots of love. See you next week.